Hi, in this video I'm going to show you some Hollywood magic, the green screen magic. When you learn this trick, you can give yourself any kind of background. You can place yourself anywhere. Look how I can turn this clip of me with the green screen background into the following. You can be in a nice office, you can have this nice blue background, whatever it is. You can have textures like a brick or wood. And you can even be back on that one sunny day on the boat. Hi, welcome to SharingYourPassion.com. This is Chill, and let's get it on. Okay, here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16 in the edit mode. And to do a green screen video, all you need is a recording of yourself or whatever object you want with a green screen background. And you need your backgrounds, whatever background you want to use. I'm going to use multiple backgrounds here just to show you different things. And you can have different kinds of backgrounds. You can have images, different styles, textures, and even video clips as a background. First step is to bring your green screen recording down to not the first track, video one, but the second track because this is going to take precedence over your background. Remember, the higher you are up on the video track is what's going to show. And if you have a transparency, then the next layer will show. This was a very inexpensive purchase for me. I bought this green screen fabric from Amazon for less than $20. I think it was only $12 to $14 or even $9, I think. And I did not buy the uh, framing. The framing might cost about $30 to $40. So I saved myself that. And I just had a stick at home, mounted it on the stick, and uh, screwed it into the ceiling. Okay, and the next step we need to do is go into the color tab, the color control page. And okay, so this is where we can make changes to the colors. So this area here is called a node system. And this is the input, this is the output. Everything you do in between are the things you can do to change the image. So let's make sure this dropper or this qualifier icon is clicked. And also this other icon here. This other dropper here, picker. For the selection range. And now we can select a green portion over here. Click that. So now let's click this highlight icon here. So this is the area that the picker found. So it's controlled by this, this, and this. We need to make it wider to capture more of the green. So let's increase this soft value. Let's drag it to the right. See, it's picking up more green area. And let's also adjust the width. Okay, let's, let's adjust saturation. Bring this left side more to the left. Okay, that helped out too. Bring the right one over, see if it does anything. Not much. Luminance, let's drag this to the left. Yeah, that helps with uh, some of that. And the right side of the luminance. This really is an inexact science. You just have to play around because however you capture the green could be really different. I mean, there's so many greens. So you need to just keep adjusting to find the right um, range to make your green screen really disappear. Okay, now that we seem to have gotten most of the green area, let us invert it. So we will show myself again and remove the green area by inverting it by clicking this button here this icon invert and there you go I don't really see any green stuff around so that should work okay now we're going to create a alpha layer or in this case it's called I'm right clicking and it's called an alpha output let's add this alpha output so it adds this blue dot and all we need to do is just connect this blue dot 
which is the alpha portion of this image, over here to activate it. These are the colors. This is the alpha. So now that we've activated the alpha output or the alpha layer, in graphic designing it's called an alpha layer. Here it's called an alpha output. Okay, let's see how this looks in our edit area. All right, it's blackened out the whole green section. Wherever you go in my clip, it's all blacked out. We've really done a good job catching all the green parts. There might be some tiny little greenness on my cheeks and ears, but it's hardly noticeable. Okay, so now all we need to do is just add some backgrounds. Well, normally it's just one background, but here I'm just going to show you samples of different backgrounds. Let's start with an office lounge area. So I dragged it into video one. Remember, video two takes precedence. It'll show, but any transparencies here means the lower layer, the lower track will show. And that's what we see here. This is the video one track and I'm in the video two track. Okay, and let's drag another background. Let's bring this in. Let's bring some texture, some bricks, wood, texture. So these are all images. These four are images. And now let me bring down a video clip. Let me go back to my cruise. I will mute the audio of that cruise clip. Okay, let's see how it looks. Here we go at the office lounge. And here's a sort of blue computer background. Here's the bricks. Here's wood texture. And I'm back in my cruise, yeah. <laughs> oh, by the way, I just noticed that some of the backgrounds were not matching up with the screen. So let's look at uh, this one, the brick. See that the resolution of this brick background was not the same as my screens. So all I have to do is make sure I select the, that image, the brick image, and zoom in to make it fit. Stretch it out. Okay, now it fits. It covers the whole screen. And also with my wood background, I'll need to zoom in as well. Select the image and zoom in. And it's fully covered now. That's just one thing to keep in mind. Making sure your background wraps the entirety of your screen. Okay, I noticed something odd. I thought that if I could click on the video clip and change the zoom or position, things would be okay. But look, when I zoom out, the whole thing zooms out. So there's some kind of problem going on here or it's just I'm doing it the wrong way. But I figured it out. Let me reset the zoom to 1. And we go back to color. Let's click this icon here. It's called the window. It's a little circular icon. And click the rectangle here. Adjust the rectangle frame around you. Using the inner dots. The outer dots do some kind of gradient thing which you don't need. And okay, so now I have myself selected and that's it. Now when we go back to edit, I can now zoom out. See that? And I can position myself on the right side or wherever and on the bottom. And now you have that talking head on the lower right corner in many videos. Okay, so let's go back to the beginning. If I run this, I'm now down there. I'm no longer 
right in front of the center. Now you can add your content here, you know, your text or whatever graphics, videos. So there you go. Now you have a green screen effect. You can do a talking head and you could be wherever you want to be in the world, including your last cruise in the Caribbean. <laughs> I hope you found this useful and if so, please give the video a like. Let me know down in the comments section below if you have other questions that I haven't addressed and I'll certainly get back to you as soon as I can. I'll be doing more videos like this so subscribe and click the notification bell to see those. And remember, it's my mission to give you the tools and inspiration to help you build your online business and transform your passion into success. Thank you.